hello to all dear students so in this video we are going to discuss about drugs used for the treatment of influenza okay so before going to the anti influenza drug or anti viral drug uh, we shall first discuss about how these influenza infect the cell and replicate and we are going to go into some detail because it will help you to understand the treatment for the influenza okay so this influenza viruses these are of two types influenza a and influenza b okay now you need to know three important things regarding this influenza first one is its genome is single stranded negative dna sorry negative rna and second thing is the genome is actually segmented so there are eight strands of this negative rna okay and the third important point is the envelope contains two proteins okay so basically this genetic material it is be covering with a coating that is nucleocapsid this thing you know and upon this nucleocapsid two important proteins are there first protein is this orange color protein known as hemagglutinin and second protein is this green colored t alphabet shaped protein and the name of this green protein is neuraminidase okay so on the nucleocapsid of influenza virus we have got two important proteins first one is hemagglutinin and second one is neuraminidase so let us talk about how influenza infection works okay so suppose uh, you get exposed to this virus via respiratory droplet and the virus does infect the epithelial cells in the upper respiratory tract okay so suppose this is the epithelial cells of your upper respiratory tract and it, this is its uh, nucleus now important thing is this epithelial cells of the upper respiratory tract it also contains means its surface also contains one more important protein and the name of this protein is sialic acid okay so what happens you know whatever viruses that enters into the upper respiratory tract it it will bind with this sialic acid so basically this is the hemagglutinin okay so hemagglutinin of the virus will bind with the sialic acid of our epithelial cells so once the virus binds the sialic acid it is taken up into the cell receptor mediated endocytosis okay and it put it into the endosome next what happens you know inside our uh, you know epithelial cells there are hydrogen ion protons will be there and on this virus we have got a means the virus have got a ion channel that is m2 uh, ion channel so why this m2 ion channel what happens you know this proton will be moving inside because of which the nuclear capsid will be fusing with this endosome and it will dissolve okay and in this manner uncoating will be taking place okay so now the genetic material is you know exposed into the cytoplasm and it directly moves inside the nucleus but this genetic material it is a negative stranded rna and you can't do much with that you need a positive strand to make proteins but there is no human enzyme available to convert this negative stranded rna into positive stranded rna so the virus it actually what it do you know it will make its own rna dependent rna polymerase okay so you can see this uh, genetic material this is actually a negative stranded genetic material which is present inside the nucleus of the epithelial cell and it will call its rna polymerase inside this nucleus and this rna polymerase it will convert this negative stranded rna into positive stranded rna okay now once positive standard rna is been formed what it will do you know it will undergo transcription to produce more and more mrna and this mrna it will undergo translation to produce large amount of influenza virus which will eventually get matured off and after getting matured means after uh, completion of the uh, complete matured influenza virus are been formed it will bud off means it will be moving outside this 
epithelial cells to infect other cells but the problem is again this sialic acid of the epithelial cell and the hemagglutinin of this virus again it will be attached okay so basically the sialic acid it will not easily uh, leave this hemagglutinin of the virus so next what happens you know this green protein it will come in action so it will try to chop this uh, you know connection between sialic acid and the hemagglutinin okay so once this neuraminidase successfully completes its job this uh, matured virus it will then leave this epithelial cell and it will try to infect other epithelial cells and it will spread the infection so this is how influenza viruses work now we'll talk about drugs that can be used in the treatment of influenza so basically we have got three mechanisms by which we can do the treatment of influenza first one is we can use uncoating inhibitors secondly we can use polymerase inhibitors and lastly we have got neuraminidase inhibitors so first we'll start our discussion with uncoating inhibitors now uncoating what exactly happens means you know this thing hemagglutinin will fuse with sialic acid because of which endocytosis will be taking place next the proton it will be moving via this m2 ion channel into uh, inside this endosome because of which this virus envelope and the endosome will be getting fused up and it will get dissolved and genetic material will be exposed okay so this is how uncoating occurs so what we can do you know we have got uncoating inhibitors so what this uncoating inhibitors basically does it will inhibit this m2 ion channel okay because it was via m2 ion channel via which the protons were moving inside so when we are inhibiting whenever we are blocking this m2 ion channel the protons cannot move inside and uncoating cannot take place so this is how uncoating inhibitors will be working so we have got two important drugs in this class these are amantadine and rimantadine okay so this is all about uncoating inhibitors next we'll talk about polymerase inhibitors okay now you know once uncoating has been completed this negative stranded rna will be moving inside the nucleus okay next what this negative stranded rna will do it will make its you uh, know rna dependent rna polymerase so this negative stranded rna with the help of this rna polymerase will be converted into positive stranded rna now what our drug polymerase inhibitors will be doing it will be inhibiting this rna dependent rna polymerase okay so we have got uh, means recently we have developed a po uh, polymerase inhibitor for influenza virus and the name of the drug is baloxavir it inhibits the multiplication of the influenza virus in uh, by inhibiting the polymerase enzyme now the special point to remember about this baloxavir is this is a single dose treatment of influenza so it is given as a single dose to decrease the duration of symptoms of influenza okay so with this we have completed two classes of drug uncoating inhibitors and polymerase inhibitors now lastly we will proceed to neuraminidase inhibitors now you know what exactly happens what exactly is the work of neuraminidase protein yes whenever uh, this uh, the virus has been completely matured now this virus will leave the cell to infect other cells okay but again you know uh, this sialic acid it will not easily leave the hemagglutinin of the virus okay so this is where the activity of neuraminidase come into action so what this neuraminidase will do it will try to you know um, uh, to disconnect this link between the sialic acid and hemagglutinin okay so what our drug neuraminidase inhibitors will be doing yes this neuraminidase inhibitor it will be inhibiting this neuraminidase protein okay so when neuraminidase protein is being inhibited then what will happen this sialic acid will not leave uh, the hemagglutinin of the virus and this virus cannot move to other cell for spreading infection so we have got neuraminidase inhibitors and we uh, the uh, drugs coming under this class are oseltavir zanamivir and piramivir um, now these drugs are the drug of choice for both bird flu as well as for swine flu see this bird flu is actually h5n1 and swine flu is 
एच वन एंड वन एंड यू कैन सी वॉट इज कॉमन इन बिटवीन दीज टू यस बोथ हैव गॉट एन वन हेयर एन मीन्स न्यूरा मिनेडीज एंड एच मीन्स हिमाग्लूटेनिन सो दे बाइंड टू द सेम कॉमन न्यूरा मिनेडीज एंड कैन इनहिबिट दिस प्रोटीन ना वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग रिगार्डिंग दीज ड्रग्स आर ओसेल्टा में वेयर इट इज यूजली यू नो इट इज गिवन ओरली Now you can remember O for oseltamivir and O for oral route. Okay, so oseltamivir is taken via oral route. Zanamivir is given via nasal route. Okay, so you can see in zanamivir we have got N. So N for nasal route. Rest in our other two drugs we cannot find the letter N, isn't it? So zanamivir is taken via oral route and paramivir. P for paramivir, P for parenteral root. Okay, so this is all about neuraminidase inhibitor, and this was all about our today's lecture regarding drugs used for the treatment of influenza. I hope you people found my video helpful. Thank you for watching.